objectively irrefutable. Objectively irrefutable. Objectively irrefutable. Hmm. Does that mean that if you look at something objectively, it's irrefutable? Or does that mean it's proven beyond a shadow of doubt? Objectively, of course. Hmm. Objective. Uh, those are not scientific terms, objectively irrefutable. Those might be terms you might hear in a courtroom but not words that would belong in a science room or class. It's not science if you don't at least try to falsify something, show different. You know one of the things that really irritates me the most when you're trying to debate with someone is when they change the subject and then try to cram you into some kind of box they got you in, in their minds. Or oftentimes turns to uh, making fun of mockery and such. Just because they don't agree with your opinion or belief doesn't mean they're stupid or ignorant or that you need to educate them. It means they see it in a different way. Your actions are discounting their view. You're cheapening them. You're making them less human so that you can degrade them. I have nothing against someone that doesn't want to believe in a God. That's their problem, not mine. I wish they wouldn't make it my problem. But I also don't like uh, religious people that uh, seem to think it's their way or no way. I know what Christ says. He is the way, not uh, that preacher. Preacher's not the way. You're not the way. None of you are the way. And so, who are you to say, your way or no way? argue over such petty things and there's such terrible things going on in the world that we need to deal with. And there's so much denial in this world. People denying what they really are. All for some things. All most of the world suffers. me ashamed this country see it getting this way why do people get so upset why do they try to 
degrade the one that disagrees because that's an emotional response to having your beliefs questioned. A true relationship with God is known by that person and shows through that person. Being mean and hateful and aggressive to those that disagree with you is counterproductive because hatred only breeds hatred. Some will even say things to try to piss you off. You know, a lot of those atheists do have a reason to hate Christians. You don't treat them very nice. How are you going to draw them to God by mocking them? giving them work. You're going to believe Pat Robertson or Jesus. I just don't understand people. I really don't. Have a good night, everybody. Peace, love, and understanding. Be with you.